It's all right. Shabam. Cool. <laughs> well, hello, friends, and welcome back to our channel. I'm Renee, and this is my daughter, Susie. Hi, crew. How are you? <laughs> and we're going to do some mega mama cooking for him, aren't we? Yes, we She's are. She's got a beautiful family of six, and they eat like government mules. They do. <laughs> they certainly do. From the youngest to the oldest. So we're going to bring you about between five and seven beautiful, easy freezer meals for busy nights because you work late. Yes, yes. Weekends yes. when you're just exhausted from working and you don't want to do a whole lot but spend time with your kids. Yeah. Yep. So we're gonna we're gonna show you that. And the first one we're gonna do, we're all set up for the first one. You're just gonna hang out with us today in the kitchen. We cook, we got pretty much everything prepped for it so that it's easy, but there's a few things we still have to cook. Anyway, the first one we're gonna do is she wants some Hawaiian ham and cheese sliders. And that makes not necessarily a good dinner. Well, I guess it could, but, but a really it's a good, good lunch. lunch on the weekends. Mm -hmm. That's what it's good for is on the weekends. So we've got a turtle and a pig. <laughs> well, that's sugar. Put that in your pocket. <laughs> baby. Okay, so we're going to do... Um, oh, we dropped it. We're going to do two of these. So we're going to get this going first, and this is the sauce. Now, most people put the sauce on top of everything when it's all put together, but you want yours in. I do. I yeah. want mine in only because it's so much, It's going to be so much easier for my kids to grab a hold of the bun and everything, yep. given that they have little fingers, and if the sauce and the butter is on the bun, it's just going to slip out of their hands, and the yep. guts are going to fall out of the sandwich. Yeah, and so it would just be easier to put it on the inside for so, you know, my family. Yep, so because we're starting with two, we're going to do two of them, we need one cup of butter. We'll put all, I'm going to have a lot of typing to do, friends, but we will put all these recipes under the description box. And will you throw that away? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to turn around here. You can stand right over there. This is the front. And we're going to melt that butter. And then we're going to add spicy brown mustard, Dijon mustard, whichever. And Worcestershire sauce and two-thirds cup of brown sugar, but we're not going to do the poppy seeds. Mm -mm. No, she doesn't want poppy seeds. You can add poppy seeds to yours if you want, however much you want. So we're going to put that on there. We're going to get this going. While that is melting, I'm going to set this over here to make it easy for us, okay? Mm -hmm. now, we've got, my stove is trashed. <laughs> We got stuff all over, friends. Okay, so we're going to put these two pans in, just like that. We're going to do these one at a time. You open it, I'll get my knife. Bye. Oh. This is real life, friends. <laughs> I love it. You're, you're not edited. We're just having a ball. This is how our family is. Okay, so we want to... Oh, they come in two pieces. There you go. We're going to cut these just like so, Susie. All the way down. Don't smash them. Just, okay. Lay your bottom one in there. Perfect fit, huh? Yes. That, no, oh. that, no. Okay. That don't go there either. We're going to set those aside. <laughs> Your hubby will love these, too. That goes in there. Now I'm going to set these aside. I'm going to put these up here. Well, hubby me. Good. I'm sure you just heard the oh, pitter-patter. We can't do anything with that yet. Check that. I'll get you a spoon. Here's a little spoon for it. And if you want to, you can add a tablespoon of each of the um, Worcestershire sauce and the Dijon mustard. Mm -hmm. Two tablespoons of each. No, yes, because we're doing a double batch. And I'll, I'll do these. This will be good. Of the mustard too? Yep, two tablespoons of each. These make beautiful sliders. 
you know what? Actually, I think I'll set those tops in here so it don't get smashed down. Oh, look at that face on him. <laughs> and just cut them in half. Just don't smash them, but cut them in half. A bread knife works the best. Serrated bread knife. Was you joking? <laughs> that one was... <laughs> what? The mustard was a little strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't... You stuck your face in it. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, you got to add two thirds. Two is here. Oh, okay. I thought it melted the other way. All right, it'll melt. Two thirds cup of brown sugar. That's for two of them. We're doing a double bag. Okay. So you need two more. Oh, one third cup per batch. Oh, you said two thirds cup. Yeah, because we're doing a double batch. <clears throat> and we've got ham. It's the Polish boiled ham is what we're using. You can use any ham you want. And we're using a baby Swiss. And again, you can use any cheese you want. Is that getting melted? Yep. All right. You want to set it on here so... There you go. You just brush it all on there. Please. You got this one to do yet. I know. So it don't all soak in in one spot. Beautiful. Okay. I got the ham, and you got the cheese, and I'll put the ham down, and you put the cheese on top of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hang on. No, no. I gotta. I'm gonna double it. I gotta. I don't know exactly. I guess you just go by however much you want. But I've got a, like a pound and a half of ham here. Well, can you? I would like mine double meat. Absolutely. That's what I was going to do. But okay. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Oh, my These would be a great idea for like a picnic and everything. Absolutely. And there you go. With the packaging, you could prep all this, keep the packaging of the Hawaiian buns that came in, um, and tuck them right back in there, seal it, twist tie it up, and it's all good to go. Makes a lovely picnic. We went to a um, monster truck thing last summer, and our neighbors had went with us, they and did the they same. did the same thing. And I, I honestly have never seen something so cool. And as soon as we did these, I instantly thought of that. And I'm like, hey, yeah. Okay. Okay, so then we're going to put these right on top. Yep. These will be frozen in your freezer, and when you take them out, you unthaw them, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then when you heat them, you just heat them until they're warm enough for yeah. you. Yeah, you don't have to. You can Put set it your own on 350. Warm. Yep. And it, that's nice. That stuff is. Oh, should I get that in there? I hate these things. Hold on. There you go. There you go. Okay. There's that one. Now you could double wrap these in plastic, but you're not going to do that because yours aren't going to last that long. Mine ain't going to last that long in the freezer. These are ham and cheese. Mommy, where's the Gatorade? Sliders. Right down here, baby. Heat at 350 until warm. You do the other one. Whatever you do, friends, do not stack these in your freezer until they're completely froze solid because you'll just have a mashed up mess. So, this was so worth the 10 minutes of prep time. Absolutely. Okay, friends, the next meal we're going to bring you is their all-time favorite. And many all-time favorites. Uh-huh. What is it? 
tater tot casserole. That's awesome stuff for your freezer. Mm -hmm. That makes a beautiful freezer meal. So with that, I do this, we do this a little different than most people will layer it in their pans. We just mix it all together to make sure everything is covered, put all our veggies in, put it in the pans, and that's the end of that. So we'll start by mixing this together because then we lay our burger in the bottom of the pan and we put the mixture on top and then we end with the tater tots and the cheese. Okay, oh, we need a measuring cup here. Okay, so this casserole, you're gonna wanna put all that soup in it, okay? You wanna open these two? Yeah, there's that. We're making this double, so. And you don't have to use just cream of mushroom soup while you're eating. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> we'll get it this way. Maybe, maybe not. Nope, it won't go that way. There we go. Okay, come out. We'll mix it with that. You got it? Mm hmm. Those go over here in the sink for recycling. You doing this one too? Yep. You want some onions in it? Look at you making a mess. <laughs> Do you want onions in it? No. Okay. You can put onions in it. You can put big chunks of mushrooms in it too. You want some more mushrooms in it? Uh, I would. I would personally love mushrooms, but okay. if I do that, then the partner ain't gonna eat it. Oh, it's just like Dad. Oh yeah, people and they're not liking mushrooms. Dad won't eat them because they grow in poop. Funniest Can, thing I ever heard. Cam won't eat them because they're fungus. <laughs> okay, so you all I can tell me. him is that get out of here. Right. We'll just start dumping veggies in there. There's the peas. You can put mixed vegetables. You can put any vegetables in this that you like. She's doing this for, oh, there is some mixed, mixed yeah. vegetables. She's doing that for her kids. Those are the veggies that they like. There's some green beans. Oh. Yeah, and they get their the way I see it, they get their five fruit group right here. Okay. It might not be the healthiest, but it's there. I didn't know you were putting all the green beans in there. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> you might have three pans. <laughs> you didn't oh. tell me how much to put it. <laughs> oh, Oops. goodness <laughs> sakes. All the beer from veggie. Yeah, I guess. Okay, we're going <laughs> to set this aside. You want salt and pepper? You don't want salt, but you do want some pepper mm -hmm. in there. Just tell me when. I know the whole family loves pepper. Our whole family loves We can't have enough pepper. Mm -mm. Even the kids love it. Now, we're just going to eyeball this, okay? We're going to put two cups in there. We're just going to eyeball it. And don't give it to me. I'll dump it all in there. <laughs> right? Okay, there's about two cups. Two big, big old handfuls. Beautiful. It'd be easier with a wooden spoon. Would it? You want a wooden spoon? I got one. I'm just gonna start putting burger. We got six pounds of burger cooked up here. We want about a pound in each one. Or two. I just fix it up to where I know you're gonna like it. Because we're splitting this meal between the Tater tot casserole yep. and the macaroni and hamburger macaroni and cheese. Beefy hamburger macaroni and cheese, yeah. Okay. Okay, so you think that's enough meat in there? You want a little more on that one? Uh, yeah. Good? No. No? 
Vermont Hardy. Okay. There you go. It'll get soupy as it bakes. Mm-hmm. You want to spread her out? Yep. <laughs> to put three pans. <laughs> How much you got left there? That much. Now uh, we'll cram it between the two of them. There's not enough for a whole nother one. Okay. Don't you line them up? I line them up. Oh, do you? I like to line them up. If you don't mind, I'll line them up. I'm picky about that. All right, friends, those are done. And I got my way. I got to put them on there the way I want. And they look beautiful. They're very heavy meals. And these are going to feed her family a beautiful dinner. All right. We are going to wrap these. And again, you could, you could double wrap them. If you're going to have them in the freezer for more than a month, I would suggest you double wrap them. Plus wrap them with some plastic wrap. But because this isn't going to last her a month, we're not going to do that. You can write on that. And I'll wrap this one. Okay, friends. We are on to our, what is this, our third meal? Yeah, yeah something like our that. Our third meal. And with this meal, we're going to do a beefy baked macaroni and cheese. So we're doubling this. So we're going to need a cup of butter. And of course, we're going to make what's called a roux. And when you make a roux, I don't care what the where what recipe you get it from, it has to be equal parts of butter and flour. Otherwise, it's just not going to turn out. And we're going to take our noodles and the beef and mix it all together in this bowl as we're getting the roux going. And our noodles are al dente. Yes, you do not want to cook them fully. But the burger is. Yes. And you can make the burger, you can use as much or as little as you want, or you don't even have to use it. You can make this a vegetarian meal. Mix that all up. And our roux is going over here. Now we're going to sprinkle an entire cup of flour in here because we have one cup of butter. We're going to mix that up and we're going to cook that flour for a few minutes, a couple minutes, just to cook the flour taste out of it. Beautiful, honey. Yeah. All right, now to this we're going to add eight cups of milk. It'd be like equivalent to a half a gallon of milk. Okay. So... I don't want a bite. Dang, the one, two. Four. <laughs> I put too much in the last one. Six. Dad, All right. So, uh, Dad, Dad left. All right, now we're just going to... Mix this. We're going to turn this up just a little bit because we want to bring this to a boil. Now you can mix that and I'll start putting stuff in here. We're going to do a little bit of garlic in here. And of, <laughs> and of course we never measure. We just throw it in. But I could use a little more than that. There you go. And we're going to do mustard powder. Spoon. You only want a couple teaspoons of mustard powder. I think that should be enough. We're going to do some pepper. This is how you make poor man's gravy. Hey. Once this thickens up, I used to call it poor man's gravy when you were little, and I'd put it over your mashed potatoes. and Oh, it was delicious. Over toast. Okay, we're going to let that heat up, but I oh, am going to put... A little bit of parsley in here. That's it. Just a little bit. 
We're also going to need a little bit of salt in there. We did salt the noodles when we cooked them. We seasoned them. There we go. You're going to want to taste that sauce, even before it gets thick, just to see if it needs anything more. Isn't it good? Oh, I want to double dip. What's yours? <laughs> you can. Mm. Nobody else is eating it but you. Oh my goodness, that tastes so good. Okay, friends, our sauce, you can see, is nice and thick. See how when you pull the spoon back, it, it, it doesn't flow in right away? That's what you want. Okay, so now, that's all the good stuff. That's all the good stuff in the bottom of the pan. Now we're going to take, and we're going to pour in cheese. And we may even need more cheese, I'm not sure. But we're just going to pour this in here. And you're just going to start mixing it up with that. Make sure you scrape it all off the bottom. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Okay, now we got, I'm using my hands. We got good cheddar here. So what I, the cheese I did use was a Mexican blend. This is good cheddar. And I think that'll do it. There you go. You can make it as thick or as thin <laughs> as you want. I like macaroni, homemade macaroni and cheese that the sauce is like a cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, eh? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll get that mixed up. Let me turn the camera off. And we'll, we'll get this mixed up, friends, and we'll be back. So we're going to go ahead and mix this up. Highly recommend a wooden spoon or something like this. Those rubber spatulas don't do no justice. So we're going to go ahead and mix this up. Beautiful. Just kind of turn your bowl as you go. And you can add, you know, you. this is a basic recipe. You can add onions and peppers, and sometimes that's the only way to get veggies into your kids, is sneaking it into a casserole, you know. But you can do all that. That's gorgeous. Look how hearty that looks. Mm-hmm. And just kind of fold it over until it's well incorporated. So we got it all mixed together and well incorporated and everything. So here comes the test of reality. We got the spoon and I'm going to test, taste test it. Is that something you should take home so nobody else suffers? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> is it good? Backwoods farm cooking is the best. This stuff is delicious. I could, if I had a big tummy, I'd eat the whole pan. <laughs> right. This is delicious. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double dip because it's me and my family eating it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. We'll get it in these pans here, and we'll bring you back and show you. Very delicious. So we have our beefy macaroni and cheese all portioned out in a pan. You just bake it, warm it up in the oven for such and such, three. I believe it's 350. 350. You can put it in the freezer just like Stouffer's from Frozen. Mm -hmm. But it's going to take a good two hours to thaw out. Or you can thaw it out in your freezer overnight. Fridge. Or Yeah, fridge. I'm sorry. Um... These are really good to eat plain by themselves, just the way it is. Or you could take and fries out some bacon and, and chop it up into small little pieces, bacon bits, and top them with that. Or you could top them with potato chips, whichever you prefer. Crackers. Crackers, anything to give a nice little crunchy crust. Or you can just eat it the way it is. It's whatever you prefer. I am personally going to try the bacon bits. So these two are going to go in my freezer. And this one is going to go to... Um, 
a person in our community. I know personally she would love this for dinner, her and her family. And I hope she enjoys it just as well as we did making it. Okay, friends, we're back with, this is meal number four. That's a lot of meals. Yeah, we're going to give you five. But this is meal number four. And this, we're just doing some simple, basic meatloaf. And a lot of times, you could put, well, her family doesn't eat peppers. So we don't put peppers. And she has a hard time with them with onions. Mm -hmm. So this is just plain meatloaf. But you could put onions and peppers and... You know, any really any kind of vegetable, you can sneak it in there to make sure your kids get some, you know. We're going to use about three pounds. I got five pounds of burger there. We're going to use about three pounds of it. I'm going to stick this back in the fridge. Okay, so now to that, we're going to crack eggs in there. Okay, there we go. We can start opening. You can open those. We're going to have, we're using ours with uh, stuffing mix. It's already seasoned, so you don't need anything, you know, we always add a little extra pepper. So this, I love this because you don't have to season no more. And we're also using onion soup mix. So you don't have to season it at all. I think I need my scissors. They're right there. You want to put that in there? Yep. We got that. in front of there. It's okay. Yeah, I love the stove top. It's already seasoned up. This will be seasoned beautifully. All we'll have to add to it is a little bit of pepper because we do love pepper. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're also going to, I'm going to add a little water to this. Now you can add extra milk to it if you want. I'm doing water. I get every little bit of that out of there. Uh -huh. Yeah, I didn't. She wasn't using it. Look at that. It's all gorgeous. Yeah. I was too. There you go. Yeah, Toss that out. We're done with that. Okay, so now we're just going to mix this up and my daughter will not touch raw meat. No, I won't. Not no. without my gloves. No. Oh. Here's my rings. I will. Don't bother me with that. Get right in there and get your hands dirty. My hands are clean. I don't. It doesn't bother me when my hands dirty. It's just something about touching raw meat. I can't do it. I'm not bother me. I'm gonna mix this up really good. And we're gonna put these in Ziploc. You might want to get the Ziploc out of that cabinet over there. Because these she's going to use for crock pot. She's going to stick this in her crock pot. And when you put it in your crock pot, you're going to want to put a little extra ketchup or barbecue sauce or whatever you're using on it. And this three pounds of meat will give her um, two sized meatloafs for her family. Look at that, that was nice. Just laid it up in the bowl. That's all there is to it. This will last in your freezer. That's not freezer bags. The freezer bags are blue and they're up in there too. <laughs> That's storage bags. <laughs> you want freezer bags. I'm, well, I'm thinking, I'm like, wait a minute, am I losing it here? <laughs> Now this is pretty basic, hers is. But if I was making this for us, I would put 
a little bit of onions in there and some garlic. Do you want garlic? Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay, I'll mix that in. Okay. Did you get the blue ones out? Yep. We want these pretty much even. Huh? Don't what? Don't you dare touch me with that burger. I'm not going to touch you with that burger. And you can, can you shape it? I can shape it. Okay. There you go. Hey, wait a minute. All right. Yeah, that's nice. Show them how you shape that up. That way it'll fit nicely in your crock pot with some potatoes with it. Do you do big or potatoes in your crock pot with it or no? Oh yeah. I get my crock pot full full of wood can't fit. <laughs> I got juices going everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Chili was a mess, but it was also delicious. I bet. I just basically rounded it up, make it look like a meatloaf. Just like perfect size to fit in my crock pot. Pushed all the air out of it and easy storage. Throw it in the freezer until you're ready to never up and eat her. Is the blanket through the Okay oh. friends, our next meal is loaded breakfast burritos. And uh we've got let's see, we've got three pounds. We got three pounds. Yeah, three pounds of breakfast sausage here. We're just gonna cook this up, friends. And this has to be cooked all the way through, of course. And then we're going to add our eggs to it and scramble our eggs all together. And then we'll show you from there. So let us get this cooked up and we'll bring you back when we add our eggs. Okay, we're gonna crack 16 eggs while she's doing that. Um. What am I going to put these in? I'll throw them in the sink. <laughs> we're making 16 burritos, so we're going to need 16 eggs. Okay. Okay, friends, Dude, this is ready for our egg. So we're just gonna make room in here because I got this huge pan. We're gonna pour our eggs right in there because it's all gonna get mixed together anyway. Okay? This is pretty much done. So, I've got my Rotel here. I got two cans of Rotel. And I drained them because I don't want all that extra juice in here. So, we're just going to mix this up in here because we're mixing it all together. I'm going to let that little bit of, there's still just a little bit of water in here. And we want that to cook out. Okay, friends, we are ready to roll these. So, you're going to take four of these tater tots, and you're going to line up four, even five of them if you want. But four looks like it's pretty good. And we're going to put, oh, we got to grab our mozzarella cheese out of the fridge. We're going to put scoops of our breakfast gummies in there.
Need scissors? I'm struggling. You're struggling. <laughs> Yeah. I think I got it. I think I, I got it. Okay. Put a little handful on each. Okay. Good? Yep. Now we're just going to roll them just like this. Put that tater tot in there. There's your burrito. Oh, you roll them different than I do. Oh, I don't roll. Yeah, that's the same. Works good. Oh, I see. Do you roll too it. tight? Yeah. That's okay. That's all right. Put them right in here. You just can't put that in there like okay. that. Okay. All right. We'll do a couple more so they can see. And then I use the large tortillas. You can use a smaller one if you want smaller burritos. If your kids are smaller eaters, absolutely. But I like the large ones because even for kids, you can cut them in half, you know. That's what I do with mine. You cut one burrito in half and it's perfect for the both of them. The two little ones. Right. Okay. Right. That's it. You can roll them any way you want as long as you get them rolled up. And we're just going to leave this open. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. So that they cool. All right, friends. So we're going to get the rest of these rolled up and we'll bring you back and show you all our meals. Well, there you have it, friends. We did 70 meals, freezer meals, for her freezer, Susie's freezer, in what, four and a half hours? Yeah. With six kids. We did. It can be done. And we fed them as well. Yes. So there you have it. I will post these recipes in the link below the video. And I hope you give these recipes a try. They will fill your freezer with some beautiful meals. You all have a wonderful day. And thanks for watching. Bye.